Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Living in Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. Exciting news, we've got our new stamps launched tomorrow. So I just thought it would be great to have a play with one of those now. So I've chosen a King Hopkins today. Um, we've got some watercolour card and we're going to just do a nice simple watercolour, have a bit of fun colouring in. Here he is magnificent chap. Took me a while to draw this little chap but I think he was worth the time spent on him and our manufacturer has worked so closely with us to get all this beautiful detail and you'll see when I stamp him out you've just got to take a little bit of time let him rest on the card for a while so I'm going to stamp him down towards the bottom so because of the detail like I say just take your time work over the top okay let's have a look and there he is every single little tiny dot has come out has worked out really nicely. So what we're going to do now is actually mask the frog off and I'm going to do that just using our masking fluid. It's a nice easy shape to work around. So don't need to do a thick layer. I'm going to go over the top like so. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm not going to go all the way down the bottom, I'm just going to fade that out. And you can see it's starting to dry already. It doesn't take too long to dry, which is good. And now I've got my water, I'm just going to spritz that over the top. And then we're literally just going to start dabbing our brush out. So I'm going to start with the yellow, nice light colour. And you can really just splash this on because you don't need to worry about covering your frog because he's masked off. So it's just about getting some colour on the watercolour card. And I've got a bit of kitchen roll just to dab up any puddles. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of orange. You know, let, let the um, brushos do their own thing. You don't need to be too precise. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of this lovely pink. Build that depth of colour up gradually. If you keep your, your um, layers of colour nice and watery, it's far easier to build the colour up as we go along. to add a little bit of water down at the bottom here 
and we're going to pop a bit of blue down here I'm going to take my fine brush now and I'm going to dip that in the grey and I'm just going to run that down the edge here just to give a little bit of depth to our lovely king. Down this side. And a little bit down here as well, where the water is. And as I say, just keep building that up. until you reach that sort of desired effect. But I want the darker side to be this side and I want the sun to be coming and hitting him from this way. So we're going to add a little bit more grey that side, a little bit more yellow as we go along. I'm going to dry this off. And then when it's completely dry, we're going to take the masking fluid off. Now you can use your fingers but I've always got grubby fingers so this is where this little block comes in. Really handy and you just in a circular movement just take that over the top and it takes it off really quite neatly. And amazingly it doesn't pull the paper as well so you've got a nice clear image of the frog now. I'm going to grab another one of our new stamps. I think actually we'll ink up in the twilight this time. We want something a little bit subtle, not too overpowering. So let's pop that at the top there. Give that a good press down. And then we're going to bring it a little bit further down the page and again. We've got some great detail in these lovely bells as well and they look fabulous coloured in. Now I'm going to use my stencil brush and I've got my graphite and I'm just going to bring in a little bit of depth down here and working my way up on this side and you'll get that lovely depth of colour that we will want. So it's quite hazy over here. And then taking the Sundance yellow stencil brush and I'm just going to make this a little bit more in the sunlight. Like so. And now I'm going to go back to my brush out and taking a nice fine paintbrush. I'm going to pick up this gorgeous leaf green and I'm going to very lightly colour in our frog. And you can see how well that green stands out against the, the pink and the oranges. And he's sitting on his rock, watching the world go by. And I've got 
got a bit of brown here as well. It's literally just a wash. I don't want any dark colours. I want to keep the focal point nice and light, okay? So the darker, um, the darker area goes around him, especially on this side where we're creating a little bit of a shadow. So we can actually go a little bit darker again. So I'm going to go back to the grey and just let's put in a little bit of depth. You can see how just adding that darker colour really does start to pop out at you. And I know it can take a bit of time, but I think it's quite therapeutic just sitting here colouring in. You can spend as much time as you want really doing this. Okay. So I'm going to use my Posca pen and just cover colouring his eye. And oops, let's put a few little orbs around him. Let's do a little bit in the white as well. Okay. So let's have a look what colours we've got here. Do a little bit of purple. Let's colour in that first. It's a little bit dark. And let's get our super fine brush and colour in his spots. I was going to add some glitter but I, I don't think he needs it. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves when you get your new stamps. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, take care and see you soon. Bye for now.